This is it. The Champions League final. The Champions! That better not be copyright infringement against Liverpool at the Stade de France. It's going to be really difficult because Liverpool are massively overpowered in this game. I mean, you could say that you could argue they're not overpowered because they are a very good team in real life. However, they are seventh. They finished seventh in the league. Seventh. That's rubbish. We finished top. We finished, yes, seven, 27 points ahead of them. We really, really, really should be winning this game. But Liverpool, managed by Antonio Conte, of all people, is the game today. And we're not coming off a very good result. Spoilers for the last episode. Pause it here. Go and watch it if you haven't yet. But we lost the FA Cup final to Chelsea. Our dreams of a quadruple to finish the series are in tatters. We've won the Premier League. We're in the final of the Champions League. We were runners-up in the FA Cup. And we were runners-up in the Carabao Cup. So overall, we've gone from a possible quadruple to a treble to a double. And we've definitely got one one title. So yeah, I mean, it's been an absolutely outstanding save. It's been so much fun. It's been so enjoyable. It's been absolutely brilliant. I feel like the length of time as well has been pretty good. I mean, there's been a few like days and weeks where i've not uploaded videos because of uh, holidays and other things and work and stuff like that and uh, any support that you've given to these videos is much appreciated so let's see if we can make this the most liked video out of the whole series and so far i think the video with the most likes was 56 if i remember rightly i think 56 lights likes so why not beat this and get 57 likes that's the target 57 is the target and that is what we're going for in this one against Liverpool in the Champions League final. And in terms of injuries and suspensions, we have literally nothing to worry about. We have everybody available to pick from. The squad is looking healthy, fit, everyone's rested. The worrying areas come in the fact that Neymar's pissed off with me because he's still pissed off that we haven't made him the penalty taker or the free kick taker. Uh, Dean Henderson's pissed off with me because he now wants to leave to join Tottenham who haven't offered a good enough deal and um well that's about it really everyone else is is looking pretty good and, and feeling up for the game so the next question is what are we going to play to counteract this 4-2-3-1 from Liverpool so you know it says there vertical tick attacker a quick passing style of possession and movement with a narrower more direct approach than the standard tick attacker of football so I, the, the choices we have are pack the midfield with a 4-3-1-2 and look to hit them on the counter-attack like we've done most of the season and go from there. Or match them up in a 4-2-3-1 and see if we can just basically man-mark them. And that is the thing we've got to discuss and sort out now. It's this, the 4-3-1-2, where we throw people forward. We could get caught on the counter-attack, but... We do have this sort of base of two defenders that don't push up, one central midfielder that doesn't really push up, and two central midfielders that should come back into position because we've got very high work rate, very high stamina on both of the players that play in that position. Or do we go for the 4-2-3-1 where, again, you have the three sort of players that sit back. We're, again, bombing on the fullbacks, but the box-to-box -box midfielder is the guy who will give a bit more support defensively. And that's what I'm trying to just figure out at the moment. I'm leaning towards the 4-3-1-2. It's worked well for us for the whole season. We push, like we basically pack the midfield, pushing the wing-backs in on the underlap as well. So I'm not 100% sure about what to do here. I mean, let's go and have a quick look at the run-up into this competition then and how we got to the final of the Champions League. So if we just get rid of all of this, that's not what I wanted to do. Filter, oh no, filter by the Champions League. So in the group stages, we had Borussia Dortmund, Besiktas and Shakhtar and did not lose a game. We conceded three goals in the group stage and were easily the best team in the group. The highlight, probably the 6-1 away win at Shakhtar Donetsk. I think that's a, a big imprint of what we were planning to do. Celta Vigo in the knockout round. 7-1 on aggregate. We absolutely smashed them. Then it got tough. Milan in the quarterfinals. 
and we went through with what's that a 3-2 aggregate win 2-1 win at home a 1-1 draw away at the San Siro and uh, we got that one sorted PSG in the semis 2-2 away at Paris goals from Eddie Nketiah and Morato where Neymar was left on the bench if I remember rightly for his return to Paris um, yeah, very interesting. And then Sofan Perrin scored against us. Remember this guy? Yeah, we've agreed to sign him. He's moving to us uh, in the summer on a free transfer. Then we brought them back to Pride Park and got a 1-0 win. Neymar scoring after half an hour, making the difference in that game. Setting us up with a final against Liverpool. And Liverpool got here by uh, quite an interesting route. I was looking at this earlier and they did actually get here with quite an interesting route at the Champions Cup. Here we go. So, they, in the group stages, lost one game to Real Madrid. 2-1 away at the Bernabeu. But again, they had a 6-1 win against Lazio. Probably their highlight from that group stage. Borussia Mönchengladbach with the other team who finished rock bottom of the group. They had a relatively easy tie against Galatasaray. 3-1 uh, away win, 4-3 win at home. So, a 7-4 aggregate win in that one. They then faced Juventus. Uh, a 4-1 win at home and a 3-0 win away which was at the Stadio Juventus, which was absolutely incredible. Uh, Salah getting two and Luis Diaz getting one there. And then they played Borussia Dortmund, who we quite easily brushed aside in our group. And they won 2-0 away from home. Urien Timber scoring two goals, the centre-back, which is a bit of a surprise. But they lost 2-1 at home to Borussia Dortmund, which meant it was really, really tense. So they went through with an aggregate win of 3-2. And I sort of have taken a bit of joy from that because we did beat Borussia Dortmund twice relatively easy in both games. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this unfolds. And it has set them up with a final against us. The only news they've got is that Tishmakis is unavailable for this game, not registered for the Champions League. But if we have a quick look, we'll just get rid of anyone that's not available for them so we can shorten it down a bit. Allison, outstanding goalkeeper, now 34. Very, very good. You can see they've been resting a lot of players, low injury risk. Everyone's looking fit and healthy from what we know from the scouts, scout reports. They've got Goncalo Inacio, who is being highly touted as a very, very good player in real life. Uh, Centre-back option. They've been playing Fabinho there. They've been playing three at the back under Conte with Jordan Henderson stepping in very recently. Joe Gomez listed. I imagine it's going to be Trent Alexander-Arnold at right wing back. It'll probably be Inacio, Van Dijk and Timber in the middle with Robertson at left wing back. Then they get into what could be their weakest area is probably central midfield. Jordan Henderson at 36 years old, not going to have the legs to do the whole game, you would imagine. Valverde, again, 28. He's, he's okay. He's, there's nothing outstanding about him, but he is a very good player, don't get me wrong. Curtis Jones, Agudulo, 19 years old, is a regen. Very good regen, but is he ready for the Champions League final? And then you get into the sort of front front players, I guess is how you describe him. Danny Elmo will probably play an attacking midfield, a very, very good player. Uh, we know what he can do. Uh, Luis Diaz, Mohamed Salah, Fabio Silva in here as well. Once of Wolves, I don't imagine he's going to get the start, although they have paid £52 million for him. And uh, Maxi Gomez, 30-year-old Uruguayan up front, probably will be the starting striker in the final. But it's going to be interesting because the prediction is they're going to play the 4-2-3-1. But when we look at sort of what they've been playing previously uh if we can just whack in here and say insert column for formation and then click on it again and go auto size all columns so yeah you can see here okay we'll get back down to this bit here because i think i don't know why that's all blanked out very strange um yeah you can see the last two games they played five two they've played five at the back or wing backs uh, three five one two or three or five two one two but four two three one wide they've been sort of rotating a little bit and they've been getting results with the five two one two so that is something we're gonna have to be wary of if they do change to that or start with that see how it goes but when they've lined up in the four two three one wide the results have been a little bit more varied and that's what they used in the FA Cup semi-final when we beat them 2-1 after extra time. So it's going to be interesting. We did line up in the 4-2-3-1. We matched them for this one. But I think we changed once um, once we went into extra time when we got the winner. Thiago Almada scored late on. So it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be a very interesting game. I'm going to have to go and pick the formation, decide what we're going to play. And we'll be right back for the Champions League final.
I've been sitting here thinking about this for absolutely eight. It's probably pushing on seven to eight minutes of just sitting here thinking how I want to do this. And I think this is what we're going with. I think we're going with the 4-3-1-2. I think we're going to go with the links between the players of what suits better. The only thing I'm a little bit conscious of is where do we play Ward Prowse and Bruno Gamaris? If we put Bruno Gamaris in here, you get all the links together. If we move it over there, Ward Prowse doesn't quite get the link with Kulosevsky, but then do we change Ward Prowse? I mean, he 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 wants to be a ball winning midfielder. He can do the job. I'm just wondering, with our tendency to pick up too many yellow cards, is that going to be a bit of an issue? If we go and look at his stats, I mean, tackling 12, aggression, 15, anticipation 12, determination, work rate. He's got all the stats you need to do it in there. It even says ball winning midfielder is, is one of his preferred roles by attributes. I think this is what we go with. So Henderson in goal, Vinicius Tobias, Gabriel Morato and Glenn Morano. The only difference we've made in this one is two ball playing defenders. I want us to have the ball, look for those passes up towards the strikers, look to get the ball like proactively into the central midfielders because we've gone with Bruno, Ward-Prowse and Kulisewski. All three of them really good on the ball. In front of them, Thiago Almada. He, yeah, he's a bit pissed off, but I feel he's like Dean Henderson, right? He's got a start. He's, he, it makes our best team. The Lap and Inketia in what has been a very fruitful partnership up front. The only issue is that he doesn't feel comfortable playing in big matches. And this is arguably the biggest match in a footballer's career is the Champions League. Probably second to the World Cup final. I'm very tempted to start Ivan Tony because he relishes the big matches. Neymar apparently does as well, and being the Champions League final, I, I think we're going to start Neymar and Nketiah. It's the, it's the strike partnership everyone wants to see in real life, isn't it? Eddie and Nketiah partnering Neymar. It's just absolutely bonkers that to think we've got this far and we're not going to be playing De Lapp. But if he doesn't like the big games, he doesn't like the big games. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm just going through and checking. Now that I've flagged it up to myself, how many people do we have that don't like big games? But what I'm actually seeing is it being positive, and they either relish or enjoy it. Obviously, relish is, is the better thing like that. Re thrives on playing in big matches, so Vinicius Tobias should really have uh, a good game. Again, you've got Gabriel in there, enjoys the big matches. Morato in there, enjoys the big matches. And Guilherme Arana enjoys the big matches. So we've got what looks to be a very good team for a performance like this. However, they haven't turned up in the other two cup finals, have they? So enough faffing, enough dilly-dallying. Let's get into this one. And what shape are Liverpool going to be playing? That is the question. So they've gone with Alisson in goal, Alexander Arnold, Fabinho, Van Dijk, Timber, and Ricky, Valverde, Salah, Almo, Luis Diaz, and Gomez. So does that mean I think they've gone four at the back? Fabinho next to Van Dyke, Timber at left back, but we'll have to check that when we get in to the intro screen. Right, do it for the fans. Why not? We've not been in this position before. Go out there, do it for the fans, and I trust you all to make a difference. Compose, compose, compose. Motivated, compose, motivated. It seems to have done the job. Liam Delap looking thoroughly pissed off that he's been dropped for the final, but uh, if you don't like the big matches, mate, that's... That's what's going to happen. Here we go then. Liverpool lining up in a 4-2-3-1 as predicted. Alexander Arnold Fabinho at the back is interesting. Obviously a beast of a player. Very good player. But it's going to be up against our 4-3-1-2 narrow shape. Coming off a cup final loss. What can we do with this one? As the players walk out at the Parc de Princes, it looks like a sellout crowd between Derby and Liverpool. With, as we know, UEFA being so corrupt that probably... 90% of it has gone to, um, oh yeah, we are on extended, has gone to corporate sponsors and things like that so that the fans actually get screwed over. But this is going to be very interesting. I'm intrigued to see how our attacking fullbacks are going to do against their very attacking wing forwards. As Kulusevski with an early interception in the middle of the park as a loose ball from Luis Diaz gives it away. And Kulu comes down the opposite flank to where he really should be. But Ward-Prowse, in lots of space, Ward-Prowse went for an early effort over the bar. But uh, not a bad start. Positive, getting shots off. That's what we like to see. Vinicius Tobias into War Prowse. Flicks it around the corner. Kulusevski onto that left foot. Kulusevski lays it off. Arana, the left back. And Alisson touches it. And Neymar can't put the rebound in. But it's offside. Neymar was just stood in an offside position. And it's a very, very positive start from Derby County. 
Can we keep this going? Goal kick. Henderson out to the left-hand side to uh, Arana, who runs forward down that left-hand side. Puts the ball across. It's not good. Easy for Fabinho to pick that one off. Luis Diaz up to Timber. Timber into Danny Olmo. Danny Olmo surrounded by players, but picks out a good pass to Mo Salah. Mo Salah on the right-hand side. Back into Danny Olmo. Danny Olmo's got a man in the middle. He's forced wide. It goes back to Trent Alexander-Arnold into Mo Salah. Mo Salah back to Trent. Ball in. Gomez with a header. Easy catch for Dean Henderson who plucks it out of the air. And uh, that's showing how dangerous Liverpool can be in this game. Vinicius Tobias gets the quick throw out from Dean Henderson into Neymar. Neymar back to Bruno Gumares. Vinicius Tobias has kept his run going forward. Can he get round his man? I think it's Julian Timbers. Tobias puts the cross in. And Nketi is there. He's beaten in the air. Almada picks the ball up. And he's got a bit of space. Almada tries to curl it. It's hit the side netting. Oh my god, it's end to end. What a game in the league in the Champions League final so far. Arana Kulisevsky. Kulisevsky comes forward with it. Lays it off to Arana. Back to Morato. Morato, is he going to look for a, a bit of a dangerous pass? He's bringing the ball out from the back and he dinks it through. Looking for Neymar, but Van Dijk covers it well. Hoofs it away. Morato picks it up again. He's gone on a little jolly run down the side. Arana, the left back. This is probably the man we actually want on the ball to run down the wing. Up against Mo Salah, who puts the, he's missed the ball. Enketia. Eddie Enketia. Eddie Enketia scored. It's being checked for VAR. Has Eddie Enketia just scored in a Champions League final for Derby County, which is a sentence that makes no sense in real life? He has! He has scored! Eddie Nketiah has made it 1-0 to Derby County in the Champions League. Arana with a fantastic run down the left-hand side. Dinked it over the defender. And Nketiah just placed it past Allison in goal. And that is 1-0 Derby County. And I, this looks so close to offside. Oh my word. It's the left leg of uh, whoever that is at right back for him. Trent, I think. But, yeah, unbelievable scenes here in the Stade de France as Derby County go 1-0 up. But here come Liverpool looking for an immediate response. Alexander-Arnold back into Mo Salah. Mo Salah shoots. What a block on that one. I think it was Ward-Prowse. And we're just going to make a slight, slight change now. We're going to just say to Arana, don't push up as much. And we're actually going to tell him, don't underlap on the left. We don't need you to do that anymore. That is totally fine. Bruno Gumarish again, we're going to just drop him back. So we're going to have the wing back. Kulisevsky will be a bit more attacking. Aguilera Marana should stay back a little bit more. Vinicius Tobias could push on a bit more. Bruno Gumarish will stay back a little bit more as well, just to try and give us that balance in shape from either side. What a block that was from James Ward-Prowse. Corner to Liverpool. Danny Almo is going to swing this one over. Gabriel, lovely header away at the back. What a signing he's been. Neymar to try and launch the counter. We know he hasn't got the pace, but he's holding off. Timber and referee, that's a horrendous tackle. Get him off the pitch. He's given him a yellow. Willie Collum. Has get Willie, he's, Willie's brandished his yellow. And uh, Almada. Back to Ward-Prowse, out to Arana, and we should see him just stay. Uh, should put this cross in and basically peg it back rather than stay attacking. It's a good cross in, looking for the attackers, but it's headed away. And Luis Diaz is going to get there first, up against Venetius Tobias. Great challenge, Venetius Tobias. Come on, 1-0. Throw in to Liverpool. Timber into Luis Diaz. Back to Timber. Into Valverde, ball through. Danny Almo has just picked up a pocket of space. Vinicius Tobias is having a superb game. He thrives on big matches. Eddie Nketiah, Almada, into Neymar. Neymar with the ball through. Oh, Fabinho just stuck a foot out and got there. Oh, otherwise, Kulisevsky would have been through. Although we saw in the FA Cup final that Kulisevsky's finishing wasn't the best. As Alexander-Arnold has just run the whole length of the pitch on the right-hand side. Round around, around Kulisevsky. Puts the cross in. Gomez with the header over the bar. 15 minutes gone, and this is tense. 20 minutes in, we're just giving the team a bit of praise from the touchline, given that we're 1-0 up against Liverpool. In the Champions League finals, James Ward-Prowse has tried to float that one over the top. It's going to just bounce through to Alison Becker. I don't mind Ward-Prowse doing that. I think that's not a bad idea to do. See if we can get... Fabinho and Van Dijk turned around and see if we can... Van Dijk's a quick defender, but I don't think Fabinho's got the pace. But I don't know what's happening here. Olmo has broken through. He's got round the tackle from James Ward-Prowse. Danny Olmo has got to the byline again. Flicks it back to Alexander-Arnold. Ricky is on it. Valverde, ball in. Luis Diaz knocks it down. Gomez, what a save from Henderson. I think he was offside. He was offside. But what a save from Dean Henderson. Um, he's hoping the Tottenham manager is in the crowd scouting him today because... Well, that's where he wants to go to, apparently. Even though we've just won the league in the Champions League, which doesn't make sense. Uh, that's not a good pass. Alexander-Arnold intercepted it to Ricky. Fabinho goes long. And Morato should be winning that and does. Arana 
Back to Morato again. Just keeping the ball at the back. Morato brings it out from the back. Looks up towards Nketiah. And Nketiah brings it down really well. Has he got the pace to get around the outside? That's a penalty, referee. That's a penalty. That is a penalty. That is 100% a penalty. Penal. Penal. And it should be Ward Prowse. Neymar wanted him. He's not having him. Ward is it Ward Prowse? Holy crap. I'm now panicked. For the first time this season, I'm panicking about penalty takers because it's the Champions League final. Penalty takers. So Ivan Tony is technically our best penalty taker. And then it is Neymar. Am I going to regret this? Am I going to regret this? Relishes big matches. It's definitely a penalty. It was definitely inside. Neymar. For Derby County in a Champions League final. He's fired it home into the bottom corner. Come on, Neymar. Come on. His fourth goal of the season and his biggest goal of the season for Derby County. He put us into the Champions League final with the goal against PSG. He's put us 2-0 up in the Champions League final against Liverpool. Oh, Neymar, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Give the guy some more praise. But we've got an injury, and it's Vinicius Tobias, who's been playing so well. He's been playing so, so well. Oh, why? Why Vinicius Tobias? Knee injury. That doesn't sound good if you've got to come off with a knee injury. Right, we've got options here. We've got Aaron Hickey on the bench. Comes in, likes big matches. <sighs> More left-footed than right-footed. Has been a good player for us. Has been a good player for us since we bought him. Or we've got the youngster in Hidaka. And I think this is probably a bit of a big stage to be bringing him on at this point. I think it's going to have to be Hickey. We also have Holgate and Deshaun Bernard, but they're more centre-backs. So Aaron Hickey is going to be chucked into the Champions League final. For Venetius Tobias, who I'm gutted about that. I'm absolutely gutted because Venetius Tobias was playing so well. Uh, I trust you to make the difference. Make me proud. Come on. Seemed motivated. Okay, that's uh, that's decent. Right. That's, that's an injury. Is that going to affect our flow? Because, yeah, Venetius Tobias seemed like he was playing really well. Alexander-Arnold is going to pick this loose ball up. Be under pressure from Gabriel, who's been pulled out of the middle. And Maxi Gomez has a free header. It's, it's terrible again. It's, even the commentary said it was terrible. But uh, 10 minutes still half time, And the highlights just come thick and fast. Timber, Luis Diaz is going to try and test Hickey, I'm sure, on that left-hand side. Now Kulisevsky, great defensive header away from who, what is primarily an attacking output player. Olmo into Alexander-Arnold, who's getting a bit more space on this right-hand side. Puts the cross in. Gabriel volleys it away with his left foot. And Eddie Nketiah is going to say, thank you very much. We'll consider that a pass for the stats. As Eddie Nketiah uses his pace down the left-hand side. Cuts it all the way back to Almada, who's beaten in the air. But Arana is going to have plenty of time and space just to decide what he wants to do with this one. War Prowse, Kulisevsky, Bruno Gamaris. Eddie Nketiah is in again. Eddie Nketiah has dinged Allison. He's hit the post, but he was offside. What a goal that would have been. Oh my God, Eddie Nketiah is one of the best strikers in Football Manager. Ward Prowse, free kick. It's got to be a goal. Ward Prowse, it's a goal from James Ward Prowse. 50 million pounds. That's what it gets you on the big stage. A wonderful free kick position for James Ward Prowse. It's 3 0 Derby before half time. And James Ward Prowse, what a free kick that is. Curling it round the wall. My captain, my captain, James Ward Prowse. Come on. 50 million pounds. 3 0 up. You all mocked me. You all mocked me for the £50 million purchase of James Ward Prowse. But he has put us 3-0 up in the Champions League final. This is absolutely bonkers. We're doing well. Getting shots away. Keep going. I mean, this is absolutely insane, right? I don't need to say anything else more than that. Just keep it bloody up because we are on fire in France in the Champions League final. Goals so far from Eddie Nketiah, Neymar and James Ward-Prowse for Derby in a Champions League final. It doesn't make sense. Eddie Nketiah, Kulisevsky, James Ward-Prowse. Let, just keep the ball, lads. This is lovely. Oh, that's not keeping the ball. That's giving it to Valverde. Over the top. Maxi Gomez for the first time is in. But he's been caught up very quickly by Gabriel. Good defensive there. And Gabriel picks it up. Bruno. Gabriel. Back, Bruno. Back to Gabriel. Back to the goalkeeper. 
And I've just noticed that Gabriel is on a yellow card. So we're just going to tell him to ease off those tackles as Arana puts the ball through into space. And we've we said Fabinho may be the weak link. And Eddie Nketiah is getting in quite a lot off the back of him as Danny Olmo comes forward. He's got uh, James Ward-Prowse for pressure. Olmo puts the cross in towards the back post. And there's a good header. But Henderson again with a good save. And it does make me think, did we lose the FA Cup final because I started Bazuno? I, I, that could be... Something to think about uh, lingering in the memory, but 3-0 up in the Champions League finals. We're looking for that ball to Inke that little dink ball to Inketia is the danger ball at the moment as Maxi Gomez just holds it up well. Omo into Salah, Ricky into Alexander-Arnold, who we sort of need to try and keep a bit of a leash on in this second half. He got a bit more freedom towards the end of the first half. Ricky, Alexander-Arnold again, Mo Salah, up it goes to Gomez. Maxi Gomez back to Mo Salah, the danger man. Mo Salah in a bit of space, cuts it back. What a challenge that is. And we managed to hoof it away. 3-0 up still. Gabriel with a free kick. Short into Bruno. Ward-Prowse. Ward-Prowse has the ball. Lays it into Almada. Hickey, the substitute. Back to Almada. We've got a lot of space here. We've looked for Neymar. It's unlucky. Almada probably could have taken a little bit more time with that one as it goes up. Luis Diaz is the wrong side of Hickey and he's still coming forward with it on the left and there's men in the middle. There's an overload in the middle here and Danny Olmo is one of them. Gabriel with the tackle. Salah with the header and it's 3-1. His 30th goal of the season. Gabriel a little bit unlucky there. He got back in time to stick a foot on it but I think that's what looped it up into the air for Mo Salah to have the header as Luis Diaz swinged it in. Olmo, yeah, it's sort of Gabriel. It could have well been a penalty. So, I mean, 3-1... 3-1. Let's not let this drop off. Neymar into Hickey. Hickey again back to Bruno Gomardesh. Into Gabriel. Into Warprouse. Back to Gabriel. We are keeping the ball well. I think we're going to have to just switch up our central midfielders in a little bit and bring them both back on support. I'm not too keen of them running all the way forward. Though Kulisevsky is in a wonderful position now. Can he swing this cross in? Kulisevsky. He does swing it in. It's cleared away by Van Dijk. Morata with a good header. Almada keeps it alive to Arana. Back to Kulisevsky. Ball through. Eddie Nketiah. Neymar. Oh, he's in it straight at his Brazilian counterpart, Alisson. And it should have been four. It should have been four. Olmo chests it down into Gomez. Out to Alexander-Arnold. And this is it's getting nervous now. Alexander-Arnold puts the cross in towards the back post. Luis Diaz. Henderson with a good save. Um, I think we're just going to have to do a similar sort of thing at the moment. I'm going to change you to an advanced playmaker, Kulisevsky. Let's just make it so that you sit maybe a little bit deeper and don't push up as much. Free kicks. It's, it's all Liverpool at the moment, although Armada's a good interception there. War Prowse, Kulisevsky. Kulisevsky can come down the left. I don't mind this when we've got the ball and they've just chucked loads of men forward. Eddie Nketiah is square and he's got the pace on Fabinho. Eddie Nketiah again. Nketiah. I think it was going wide, but it's a good counter-attack. I don't mind playing... That sort of counter-attacking football against this Liverpool team. Right, Arana with a throw in. War Prowse, Bruno, Arana just holding it up. Back to War Prowse. Lots of space. Good curl on into the box. He's picked out Kulisevsky. Bruno Gomaris has a go. Go! Oh, he's hit the bar. Bruno Gomaris has hit the bar. Oh my word! This is oh, this is agonising. Agonising. This. I know this is going to be a really long video, but sod it. It's the Champions League final. Salah on the ball tries to dink it through. To Olmo. Salah on it again. Into Agudelo, who they brought on. That really young, uh, really good looking regen. As Arana picks it up here. Almada, Kulisevsky, Bruno. Ward Prowse. Into Kulisevsky. Just looking to dictate the play. I really, honestly, oh, that's too much, Ward Prowse. It's too much. He scored his free kick and he thinks he's bloody Pirlo. Alexander Arnold, ball in. Gomez with a header over the bar. Luckily, Maxi Gomez in the air today has been pretty dreadful. So. Uh, I think we're going to just lower the tempo slightly. I'm probably going to say that we don't need to push the fullback on on the underlap anymore either in uh, Hickey. I'm just not too sure what to do. I would, I'd like us to keep the ball a little bit more, but I don't want us to stifle what has caused us to play so well on that counter-attack. In terms of ratings, 6.6 .6 for Gabriel, but I don't really want to take him off as a centre-back as that's a long, hopeful ball forward towards Neymar. Maybe Ivan Tony could come on up front, but I don't. Neymar and uh, Nketiah are both playing well as Neymar could be in because that hit Van Dyke and Neymar's missed the sitter. Oh, Neymar, Neymar, Neymar. I think it is. I think with 15 minutes to go, I'm going to. I know he scored, but Neymar. Oh, he's on a seven. Uh, no, Almada's going to come off. We're going to bring on 
Ivan Tony and Neymar is going to sit as the sort of link man in the middle. <sighs> Hickey on a 6.6. I mean, I'm tempted. I, I've done it a lot in this save. Take off a sub that's come on. I'm tempted to do Hickey for one of the more defensive-minded right backs. So one of the centre backs, basically. Dijon Bernard will probably be the one that comes on. But with 10 minutes to go, we've got a two-goal lead. I think a bit more praise just to say I'm happy with how they've been playing. Hickey up that goes towards Tony with his strength and can hold it up. And we've tried to put that one through. Virgil van Dijk goes back towards Alisson Becker. Long ball forward and no one's challenging Fabio Silva, although his header wasn't the best. So, right, Fabinho, one thing I do want to do actually is just pop into um, instructions here. Let's not, we don't have to run at them as much anymore. Let's just use use our passing to try and keep the ball. And the other thing I wanted to do is when this is over... In fact, can I do it here? I can do it here. Uh, opposition instructions. Ask assistant to just update them so that they're all as we think, as Dennis Bergkamp thinks they should be doing. And by the way, Dennis Bergkamp has been an absolutely phenomenal assistant manager in this save. And Milo, I know you'll be watching this and you'll be loving to hear that. But yeah, Dennis Bergkamp has been absolutely superb. Arana, Morato, Arana again. He's not gonna, this is the problem, though. We're not going to have that outlet ball of, an attack, of the central midfielders pushing forward to help the attack. But if we can just hold on to the ball... Which then Ivan Tony's going to pick up the loose ball. Ivan Tony, Ivan Tony. Oh, is that a corner? It is a corner. What a tackle that is from Van Dyke at the back. Oh, right. War Prowse. We just need one good delivery into the box. And it's not bad. Headed away by uh, Valverde. Curtis Jones. No, Curtis Jones, sorry. Headed it away. Neymar picks it up. But with five-ish minutes to go, Liverpool are going to start piling forward in this game. Fabio Silva tries to get to the byline. Dinks in a cross towards Mo Salah. We should beat him in the air, and we do. Agudulo picks the ball up into the box. Valverde just trying to get past Kulusevski. Salah's there. What a save from Dean Henderson again. Oh, my word. We've had some outstanding performances in this game today. Danny Elmo swings this one in, headed away. In fact, they're going to start just launching balls into the box, right? So it is going to be Hickey off, Deshaun Bernard on. You're just going to sit as a fullback on defend, I guess. I don't want that to be dropping us too deep. No, we'll still stay on support because that then keeps you sort of in line in terms of visuals. That is all three subs. We'll just quickly say to Bruno Gomorrah because we don't want any stupid red cards. Um, I mean, it's not quite five minutes to go yet. I mean, Bruno Gomorrah, what do you what 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 could you do to really help us out here? I mean, a deep line playmaker on defend just to keep another sort of body back. I think Deshaun Bernard coming on should help with the impending long balls coming into the box Bruno Gamares oh my god I'm so glad he didn't get sent off in that tackle five minutes to go in the I mean my heart is racing here my heart is racing into Fabinho Agudulo you can see how many people we've now got back behind the ball compared to the first half Fabinho into Valverde ball through Danny almost there shoots Henderson what a save again from Dean Henderson oh my word this is absolutely ludicrous how much he's been keeping us in this game in this second half and right we're gonna go uh we're gonna stay positive because nothing else works in football manager it's a pretty well known well known issue we don't need to go and press them as much we definitely don't need to use the offside trap anymore we're going to drop our lines back ever so slightly. We're going to get into it. Don't bother working it into the box. Uh, we're going to play really short passing at a much lower tempo. And we are going to waste absolutely loads and loads of time. And we're going to play for those set pieces. Because uh, if we can dive and stop the game and slow it down, I am more than happy for that. Four minutes of injury time as Danny Almo swings it in. Valverde, what a challenge from Morato. A free kick, though. A free kick's been given. Valverde was offside, and we're in to injury time, and we are a minute away from being the Champions League winners, and this could be it to give us one hell of a double in the final season of the Derby County save. The ball goes in. Morato boots it away, and Ketty is beaten in the air, and the final whistle goes, and we win the Champions League. Oh, yes. Come on. I was so worried it wasn't going to be anything but the Premier League, which in fact would have been great. But we've won the Champions League. Oh, my word. James Ward Prowse, my captain, £50 million is going to lift the Champions League trophy for Derby County. Way Derby County win the Champions League. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. Have that, Liverpool, you bastards.
Yes, come on, Premier League and Champions League champions. That is what you're inheriting if you want to download the file from below. It will be a probably a couple of days after this, just so I can get to the end of season review and stuff, and I'll upload it then. Unbelievable. Eddie Nketiah scoring early on. James Ward-Prowse with a wonderful free kick. Neymar with a penalty. And man of the match in the Champions League final is £50 million man James Ward-Prowse. What a signing he has been. I don't care what you guys say. What a signing he has been. £50 million, 32 appearances, 14 assists in the league and a 7.39. Overall, he has got 48 appearances, four goals, one penalty that he missed, and 23 assists, 20 yellow guards, one red, and a 7.54 average with a passing accuracy of 87%. What a signing he has been. He was that missing piece. He was the little thing we needed. I mean, but Eddie and... I mean, props to Eddie and Ketia as well. What a signing. What a man. We were so close to selling him. He really isn't that good. Apparently, he's the fourth best striker at the club. And he's scored in the Champions League final. 18 goals in 30 appearances, 6 assists. Stand up, Sir Eddie Inketia. £7 million. He's been absolutely incredible. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Enjoy your success, lads. Enjoy it. Champions League winners with Derby. Champions League winners with Derby. And only one season where we didn't do net spend. This is incredible. This is actually, in terms of it, like a shorter term save, I think this could be the most, one of my most favourite short term saves I've ever done. And Venetia Tobias, damaged knee cartilage. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, yeah, don't worry. He's going to get all the playing time he wants when he's back. So that's not my problem anymore. That's for you guys to carry on. But yeah, oh my. Derby. Real Madrid, Arsenal. Liverpool, Liverpool, Real Madrid. Derby County. Derby bloody County. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We get £10 million in TV revenue. 2.94 from the coefficient rankings. I don't even know. How much did we get for actually winning the thing? I don't know. £17.1 million. Wow. Okay. Medals go out to all the players that played. Anyone in there that's a bit questionable and shouldn't have one? Uh, maybe anyone that's not the club anymore? Nope. No, not at all. So there we go. Overachievers, Derby County. Winners, Derby County. Oh, my word. Absolutely incredible. Best match, a 3-2 penalty win. Fuck off. Definitely the final. Definitely the final. We are the Premier League and Champions League winners 2027 with Derby County. Thank you all so much for supporting this series. We will very quickly go through the end of season review because... Why not? James Ward-Prowse. A B minus? A B minus? Sod off. Uh, yeah. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable. Um, I don't... I don't I have no idea what sort of bonuses we've paid, by the way, for that. Morato, absolutely superb at centre-back. Liam Dunlap, superb up front. Gabriel, it turned out to be incredible at centre-back, to be honest. Um, Arana... Bringing in a slightly older left back, but I think it was the right decision. Really good idea there. Kulosevsky, who could potentially rise to £84 million. But again, such a crucial cog in the team. Neymar coming in. Um, yeah, Neymar. Neymar, Neymar, Neymar. Four goals, seven assists. Really not that bad in 19 appearances. And Divya is probably the only disappointing one. But again, £11 million we bought him in for. And we've sold him for what kind of, well, £10 million. So a £1 million loss. Uh, on that really not too bad at all uh, transfers out we made some good outs as well Castro was never going to make it in this team after that Louis Sibley 40.5 million pounds I think we absolutely took Newcastle to the cleaners with that one really good and then uh, I was about to say 84 million but that was Kulisevsky 31 million for Brandon Williams to Norwich who got relegated as well so really really interesting that one but yeah the season's results the board are delighted that the team have won the Premier Division and we won it easily. And we've also won the Champions League. 97% attendances. Liam Delac with 22 goals in the league. The Champions League, the board are delighted. 3-1 win over Liverpool. Liam Delac was a top scorer and that was six goals. 
uh, incredible stuff. The board of the light of the team reached the final of the FA Cup as well. Eddie Nketiah was our top scorer there with seven. Um, yeah, just losing to Chelsea in the final. In the Carabao Cup, they they, they couldn't give sh any shits at all. Uh, Kulisevsky was our top goal scorer with four, and we lost the final in that one to Man City. So moments to remember. Our biggest win was 7-0 against Besiktas. Match to remember, as I said, was the 6-1 away win at Shakhtar, which was absolutely incredible. Uh, and the 3-0 Champions League goal game against Celta Vigo saw so the goal of the season from Sambi Lukonga, which was uh, very nice. And finances-wise... We've gone from continental to worldwide. Uh, no new sponsorships yet, but we've brought in more broadcast revenue, more sponsorship money, more corporate and hospitality money, more prize money by a country mile. We've more than doubled our prize money from last year. And match day and commercial rental looked the same. Shirts, though, Delap, Kulisewski, Neymar, Ward Prowse, and Almada. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, incredible. Absolutely amazing incredible that was our lineup for the season and here we go then so we have won the premier division manager of the month for october december and april and we got manager of the year absolutely wonderful fans player of the year james wall prowse young player of the season liam delap signing of the season james wall prowse goal of the season uh Lekonga. top goal scorer in all competitions was eddie and Ketia with 32 goals most assists was james wall prowse with 23 uh, most player of the match awards is james wall prowse with 10 highest average rating was james wall prowse with 7.5 and uh sambi Lekonga uh completed the most passes per 90 on average of 64 which is very nice but New records then, worst discipline, James Wall Prowse, most assists, James Wall Prowse, Louis Sibley, biggest transfer received, and Kulisevsky, biggest transfer paid. And that is what you want to see. The overall thing, history in the making, it has been phenomenal. It has been absolutely phenomenal. And it's just amazing, right? It's just absolutely amazing. Obviously, we're going to go to Singapore, because we always do, because that's where I live. And... Yeah, there we go. Champions League dream team. Henderson, Venetia Tobias, Gabriel, Ward Prowse, Bruno Gamarish, Eddie Nketiah, and Liam Delap. Best goal went to Timber against Borussia Dortmund. Uh, Skamaka got second place, and Lekonga got third for his goal against Celta Vigo. But yeah, goalkeeper of the season, Dean Henderson. Defender of the season, Maratto. Midfielder of the season, James Will Prowse. And forward of the season, Liam Delap. It's a clean sweep for Derby County players. And... Uh, I mean, if I was carrying on this, I will be doing all I can to keep uh, Dean Henderson at the club because he has been absolutely superb this year. But, yeah, unbelievable. Absolutely brilliant. They still want you to develop the club's players using the U system. I'm just going to agree to this, and you're going to have to deal with that. Sorry, folks. Plans for next season, then. Um, a well-earned break. We're going to qualify for the Champions League. That's what they all think is good as well, so we'll say there. Uh, we'll be aiming for the knockout. Oh, let be in, you want? I'm being ambitious enough. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Raise. Let's um, raise our hands. I like to be ambitious. Let's aim even higher. That's what I wanted to hear. Uh, and we'll do. I'll let you guys do promises. I'll see you all at the start of pre-season. Wow. 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 Unbelievable stuff. Let's just tick over into June, and then that is the save game file. You guys will pick up from the 1st of June if you so want to. Please do get in the Discord. Link is in the description below. Get in the Discord and uh, let keep me updated with how it's going, who you sell, who you bring in. Are you going to do net spend FC? D the, the stadium's getting an upgrade costing £42 million for a new 11,000, 11,500 seats. Wow. Wow. The finances we're leaving you with, 216 million in the overall balance. A transfer budget of 108, well, 100 .8 million pounds, which is ludicrous. A wage budget, you've got like 200 grand to play with in the wage budget. You are going to have fun. I, I, would, I would say don't bother doing net spend FC. Just keep on going and splurge as much as you want but this has been a very long video so actually i'm going to leave it there on the 30th of may the link will be in the description for the downloadable file to carry this on the discord's here the twitch is there patreon's there any donations are more than welcome this is just a hobby for me so it's not my job but thank you so much for watching that is the end of the derby county save and i'll see you in a new football manager series coming hopefully very soon for now i'm out cheers